take your Bible and go to the Gospel of John, chapter 21. There are a number of post-resurrection appearances of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'd like to share this one with you tonight from the 21st chapter of John. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. There were to gather Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathanael of Canaan, Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. It's an interesting thing in God's word that we read into the latter part of this verse, two other of his apostles. It doesn't say apostles. It says what? Wow. Right. Every apostle was a what? Wow. But not, not every disciple was a what? Wow. Therefore, these disciples could have been apostles. On the other hand, they need not be what? Wow. I'll buy the second one, at least for the moment. From a working point of view, that'll come up later in this chapter. It's an interesting observation, at least. You see, if you'll turn to Matthew chapter 4, and in verse 18 of chapter 4, when Jesus Christ began his public ministry, he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, and he saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. I want you to notice that the, it's the singular net. I want you to notice it was Simon, Peter, and Andrew, his brother, and he saith unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of what? Amen. We have an organization today in the United States called Fishers of Men. They have a little emblem like we wear the dove. They have a little emblem of a fish, and it's built upon their, their evangelistic groups, people who want to share God's word with people, and they're called Fishers of Men groups. And he saith unto them, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. And verse 20, straightway, and they straightway left their nets and followed him. In the Gospel of Mark, in chapter 1, in verse 16, it says, Now as Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were what? And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets. They had only cast one in. They had others in the ship, and they followed him. And when he had gone a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship, mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after Jesus. In the 21st chapter of John, it said there was Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel of Canaan, Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other, what? Verse 3. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. <laughs> See, even Peter liked to go fishing. I guess a man privilege or something. But Jesus Christ had called them to be fishers of men. And after the crucifixion, which was a rather disconcerting event, and other matters that had occurred, even though in spite of the resurrection and everything else, they just did not know exactly what to do. So Peter and those went back, and Peter said, Well, fellas, I'm going back out fishing. In the Gospel of Luke, in chapter 5, by the way, I taught these closing verses on Friday night of this week to that wonderful advanced class. 
Luke chapter 5, these verses from Luke 5. Jesus Christ was preaching, and verse 4, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep, and let down your nets, and E-T-S, for a what? Draw. The word of God is the what? It means what it says, and... And Jesus Christ said, let out everything you got in the ship. Throw it all out. Let out all your nets. He said, launch out into the deep. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we've toiled all night. We know the fishing business, Master. You maybe know how to raise the dead and do a few other things. But Master, we're professionals at this business of fishing. And <laughs> he had said to them, cast out all your nets, launch out in the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. And Peter said, oh, Lord, look, we're masters at this thing. We've toiled all night, and we've taken absolutely what? And then he finally said, but nevertheless, since you're our master, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll let out the net. Singular. <laughs> That's Peter. Back in John 21, still old Peter, he wants to go right back fishing. See? Right. And you see, Peter was quite a twig leader because Nathaniel and the sons of Zebedee and Thomas said unto him and those disciples, we'll go with you. And they went forth, entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught what? <laughs> That's right. But when the morning was now come, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples knew not, did not recognize that it was Jesus. And Jesus saith unto them, Hey, fellas, caught any fish? Got any meat? <laughs> and they returned it across the waves, saying, Nope, sorry, have fished all night, haven't caught anything. And Jesus said unto them, Why don't you cast the net on the right side? And ye shall find... They cast, therefore, and now we're not able to draw it in for the multitude of what? 